If a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. These are the words of American statesman Benjamin Franklin, and it is obvious in a good state. Under His Excellency, Right Honorable Ifan Yuguanyi buys totally into this maxim. This is what has informed the huge spending and robust engagement in the education sector of Enugu State. Gaps have been filled, teaching and learning conditions improved upon. Education is indeed prioritized. And further exhibiting his love and passion for education and knowing that something positively dramatic happens to a ministry or a parastatal when it is manned by a creative, innovative, result-oriented and pragmatic technocrat. The governor brought Chief Ikeji Asogwa on board as the executive chairman of Enugu State Universal Basic Education Board, who has literally transformed the board from just one of those governmental departments to a functional entity that Enugu State is proud of. To effectively and efficiently run as the proactive parastatal it has evolved into, NSUBEB has six operational departments. These departments and units in their various capacities are leaving no stone unturned in improving and repositioning NSUBEB to an enviable height among its counterparts in the country because Enugu State believes that education is critical in the development of any nation. The laudable achievements of Ensubeb is not built on thin air. They are a reflection of its policy environment with different components, which include provision of child-friendly school environment, qualified personnel and facilities to meet the learning needs of all children, parents and community participation in the governance and management of schools. They provide and improve infrastructure for public primary schools and junior secondary schools, run an inclusive form of education, enrollment, retention, and transition of children to higher levels of education, promotion of adaptable curriculum to meet the learning needs of children, safe school environment, making teaching interesting and recognizing the abilities and needs of all learners. Ansubeb, in its drive to remain functionally relevant, has embarked on a number of interventions. 1. It is on record that within a time frame of five years, Ansubeb has built and renovated over 800 schools, cut across the 17 local government areas. The massive infrastructural overhaul is unprecedented. 2. Trained and retrained its teaching workforce in various aspects, better positioning them to use contemporary teaching techniques, 34 SSITs, 199 SSOS, 1,223 head teachers, 4,265 class teachers have undergone one form of training or the other. 3. Improved significantly the quality of its quality assurance staff by exposing them to monitoring and evaluation trainings and retrainings. 4. Improved the quality of learning environment by providing modern classroom desks and seats. 5. Paying salaries as and when due. 6. Providing incentives and teaching aids to teachers to further motivate them. 7. Ensobeb has joined both regional and national competitions which granted exposure to both the teachers and pupils. There has been increased procurement. Ensobeb understands that a soldier doesn't buy his weapons or uniform. Ensobeb has consistently provided materials needed to enhance learning. And though there's always room for improvement, Ensobeb has done well. Thanks to a proactive education-focused governor, His Excellency Ifani Uguanyi, who provided an enabling environment for all these to happen. And to Chief Ike Jasogwa, whose ingenuity has made something great of Ensobeb, Enugu State is in the hands of God. My name is Chief Ikeje Asogwa. Chief Ikeje Asogwa is a graduate of political science from the Anambra State University of Science and Technology in 1919. On the 27th of uh, May 2016, I was appointed executive chairman of the Enugu State University Basic Education Board, Ensobe, the position I hold to date, being able to position the education sector basic education. We have been able to engage qualified teachers 
2,530 in the last three years. All the teachers are presently in the classrooms and have greatly improved the quality of education in the United States. We have also been able to develop and complete 897 school projects in the state. We have delivered instructional materials worth millions, hundreds of millions. These include books, charts, limits, all kinds of instructional materials, lab equipment, science equipment, to all the secondary and primary schools in Enugu State. In addition to that, we have engaged in training and retraining of our teachers on a yearly basis to make sure that we maintain standard of education in our great state. Uh, we intend to do a lot more. It's an ongoing concern. And we want to promise our people, given the support of the state government and our dynamic governor, right now with Dr. Frank Nguyen, we will do a lot more to improve the standard of education in our states in the coming years. In addition to the instructional materials that we procured for the various schools in our state, we have also procured about 49,000 sets of desk chairs for the teachers and the pupils in our schools. We've also procured a lot of playing items for these children, even including swings and <clears throat> in, in most of our schools too. A lot of computers have also been procured. Uh, there is hardly any local government or any development center in the new state now that does not have a minimum of uh, 25 to 30 computers that they use to train our children. In terms of making sure the environment is, is in place, we are doing a lot. We are changing all the blackboards which we have considered as old fashioned and introducing the marker boards, which are standard practice in, in, in the education system today. If you're going to learn the environment today in our schools, in our classrooms, you see that most of the classrooms are tired, properly ventilated. We have also introduced fans in the classroom you know, to avoid the heat because of the kind of environment that we find ourselves in. So the learning environment is greatly improved. And we've also introduced Sporting equipment. We've been procuring a lot of sporting equipment and distributing to schools. These include goal posts, the volleyball posts, the balls, the uh, table tennis boards, bats, and the uh, table tennis balls too. And put into consideration the situation we find ourselves today with respect to the coronavirus disease, COVID-19. We have put in place the regular school program where our children from all classes will learn through the radio programs during this period so that they do not lose touch with what they're supposed to achieve with their book work. We will also procure hand washing equipment for these schools, sanitizers and thermometers, those basic things that we need to ensure that the children to be learning in a safe environment, henceforth. When we came on board here, we met a lot of challenges. We observed that most of the learning environments in schools were not conducive. We also observed that there were 92 abandoned projects. We had to swing into action immediately, and out of those 92 abandoned projects, we completed 91. Only one is still outstanding as of today because we were informed that the contractor was overpaid and he absconded. We have renovated and reconstructed a lot of these dilapidated classroom blocks in the 17 local government areas of the states. The challenge was not just about the environment. We also noticed the lack of teachers in some schools, qualified teachers. But that was what pushed us and encouraged us to jump start a recruitment exercise and we insisted that the best should be brought on board. That's why Elmstead remains one of the very few states 
that ensured that before you go into the classroom as a teacher, you must write uh, examinations. You have to take those examinations that you must pass. When you pass, then you have to go for an interview. Those are the criteria we use to engage the teachers we brought on board now. And I can assure you we have very capable, solid hands on board. And what we have so, so succeeded in doing is to be sure that the over 400 communities in Enugu State, each community has benefited at least one school building project. Some of the schools in our communities have about two, three, four, five blocks, some even six or more. And because these uh, classroom blocks have been ignored for a long while, no form of renovation taking place, we are now challenged with the numbers we need to attack and reconstruct at the same time. And that, the numbers are enormous. So what we're doing, and we're showing the people of Enemy that we're doing, is to take it bit by bit. Bit by bit, and we are already on it. And I believe in the next couple of years, we would have finished innovating all the labeled classroom blocks while introducing new ones because we are putting into consideration that Nigeria's population is growing. We in Amsterdam are very proud to be associated with His Excellency the Governor of Enugu State. He has supported us tremendously, not just by providing funds. He has also been committed and dedicated. He goes around to see what we are doing. He always asks questions. He encourage us to engage these quality teachers that we put in the classrooms. He has also been so supportive with respect to provision of instructional materials because apart from what we get from the federal government to distribute, the state government also provides books, one two millions, that also distribute to these various schools. We want to thank the government for his support begging to keep it up. He knows he's an education-friendly governor and uh, he's committed to it because he knows how valuable it is to our children.